Hi, my name is Carlin Glott. I'm the director and designer at Space Budgie. At the moment, we're working on a game called Glitch Space, which is a first-person programming game. Um, the aim of the game is that you have to reprogram your environment to make it more suitable to traverse. You have to go through various levels, and the levels have uh, several puzzles, and um, and you must you have to solve them. Most of them are um, maths-based. Um, some of them are logic. Um, it depends, but a lot of it is to do with trying to terraform the geometry, I suppose, changing the geometry and making it so it's, it, you create platforms. From the beginning, we wanted to create a, a VR version, um, so we had that in mind with our design, that we would create a game that did support the Oculus Rift, so that has been a focus. But uh, as we progressed, we, uh, we, we haven't been focused on it so much recently, mainly because, uh, because, our, because we're now selling it, um, and we don't have Unity Pro, so we can actually sell it with, we don't have the license to, to actually sell it with the Oculus Rift support, but uh, we're still working on it, and we're still, you know, we're still aiming to put it in once we do get Unity Pro. We've had to do lots of testing, lots of making sure that you know people aren't vomiting when they're playing, um, and uh, yeah, I mean that's why it really we, we we test it on various other games as well. So we were testing ideas in, in different games and sort of making sure that our ideas worked. When when you see people using it and you see what it can what it can do and what it's capable of, I suppose to a lesser degree uh, AR as well is is very interesting and and that sort of spurred my interest more into you know VR is probably uh, it's got more scope in what you could do with it. I think that it's going to be mainly stuck with a very with a very uh, um, set user base uh, and it might not be huge, it might be quite small um, and that will likely expand but I think over the next few years it will probably just be dominated by the, by the indie scene to be honest.